So I want to read some lines from John Keats from Endymion, uh, some lines that are printed in Christopher Bamford's book, An Endless Trace, uh, in a chapter called Romanticism and the Evolution of Consciousness, where uh, Bamford articulates uh, the way in which the Romantics foresaw the need for metaphysics after Kant to um, transform themselves into a sort of poeticized thinking so that the philosopher could come uh, rather than in an attempt to reflect the world to gain knowledge of it but to uh, participate in the creative expression of nature through the power of language uh, you know, which is Holderland and uh, as <clears throat> really developed by Heidegger uh, as Holderland said language is the flower of the mouth and if the philosopher wants to gain knowledge of things themselves somehow language must be redeemed and resurrected and uh, poetry is the chief method we have for performing such a magical rite as the resurrection of the logos so this is john keats uh, again from endymion wherein lies happiness in that which becks our ready minds to fellowship divine a fellowship with essence till we shine full alchemized and free of space Behold the clear religion of heaven. Fold a rose leaf round thy fingers taperness, and soothe thy lips. Hist, when the airy stress of music's kiss impregnates the free winds, and with a sympathetic touch unbinds Aeolian magic from their lucid wounds. Then old songs waken from enclouded tombs. Old ditties sigh above their father's grave. Ghosts of melodious prophesyings rave round every spot where trod Apollo's foot. Bronze clarions awake and faintly brew it, where long ago a giant battle was. And from the turf a lullaby doth pass in every place where infant Orpheus slept. Feel we these things? That moment have we stepped into a sort of oneness, and our state is like a floating spirit's. But there are richer entanglements, enthrallments far more self-destroying, leading by degrees to the chief intensity. The crown of these is made of love and friendship, and sits high upon the forehead of humanity. All its more ponderous and bulky worth is friendship, whence there ever issues forth a steady splendor. But at the tip top, there hangs by unseen film an orbed drop of light, and that is love. Its influence, thrown into our eyes, genders a novel sense, at which we start and fret, till in the end, melting into its radiance, we blend mingle and so become a part of it nor with aught else can our souls interknit so wingedly when we combine therewith life's self is nourished by its proper pith and we are nurtured like a pelican brood <laughs>